Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV UL3 bike packing tent. And the fact that I've just said that in a wanna is a miracle. I've had a couple of good trips in it, so I'm looking forward to reviewing it, mate. This is uh, something I'm excited about because I'm a nerd. And if you want to nerd with me and check out the finer details of this bike packing tent, then stick around. But first of all, let, there's some things that I really love about it. And there's a couple of things that I think Big Agnes might need to address. But for now, let's get it set up and we'll take a look at it. Look how short each individual section is so that it can, I mean, that's, that really is short, isn't it? So that's your main bit. And then it comes with a bit that goes over the top of that. It also comes with this fixer pole so you can fix it on the move if you any of you, your poles snap. It just wants to set up, it's just, you can hear it clicking into place without me. It's ready, it knows what it is, and it knows what it was built to do. That's why it's like, yeah, I've got this mate, you don't, you, you worry about something else. Hey look, you can hear it clicking in, look like I'm ready. Optimus Prime. The way that's set up is that I know that this is the head end, because <laughs> it probably won't focus, will it? Definitely not. See that? Go on, focus. Come on. If ever was a, there was a time to totally redeem your focus, this is it. Forget it. I know the grey areas, the grey ends are the head end. The orange ends, it's all colour coordinated, grey and orange. The orange end is the foot end. It does have a, a head and a foot end, this tent. Although you could use it both ways, it is big. But the way that the pockets are lined up and the doors and stuff, there is a, an actual foot. There's my pegs. Got the ground sheet for it as well, which enables you to set this up completely freestanding. Grey to grey. Dorian. Dorian the Explorian. <sighs> the grey goes through the grey. It's got a little eyelet there that you can just put it through. Same with the other end. The other end is orange to orange. And there it is. That's your frame. It's not windy now, so I can give the perfect, the perfect pitch. You can see these bits, they come out and that's so that you've got a bit of grounding in your porch area. Pegs, extra guy lines, which do come in handy with this tent and I'll show you why. Big Agnes tent stakes are a bit mucky because I've literally just got back from camping in the lakes. We have orange and grey, which fit on the orange and the grey, pretty easy. Into that one, and then into that one. And then, simply clip these plastic clips onto the frame. And there's one clip left, that's for our centre pole over there clips on and then we have this ball joint here it's like a ball and socket joint one at either side there you go and you could if you knew it wasn't going to rain that's your stargazer mode no bugs are going to get you and then i often just camp like that and then i'll leave my fly sheet next to it and then if it starts to chuck it down just get out get out and just launch this over it it's pretty easy to do again You've got your colour coded clips there. And so this just clips into what we've already got set up. It's a simple case of just oying it over and clipping it in. Couldn't be easier. Could be if someone else did it for you. But look there, done. Figure out which way your doors get best to open and away you go. And here we have a vent. It has this hardened bit in here, Velcro on there. That keeps that propped open for airflow. We have webbing loops attached to the outside so you can chuck your socks and bits and pieces so you can dry stuff on the outside of your tent. 
this is my gripe with uh, with this tent. They don't give you enough tent pegs, which baffles me. For the amount of money you're spending on it, give us just chuck in a few more tent pegs. I don't know whether it's because they're trying to keep the overall weight down or what, but so that's all the tent pegs that I've got in there are the tent pegs that I got with it. Now I still can't with that. I still can't peg out. Can you see? Come here. Come on, this is it. We're going in. These are some extra pegs that I've brought from home, but I wouldn't be able to do that, which is very important for airflow and to keep this off the inner mesh. Wouldn't be able to do that. And that's on both sides. So there's two extra pegs, please, Big Agnes, I would like. So there's the two extra pegs. Now, if I want to guy it out, if I'm in heavy winds, I've got one, two, three, four, when I was looking at reviews of this tent, that was pretty much the only gripe or one of the main gripes that people had is that you, that you don't get enough tent pegs. And it baffles me as to why. I need at least another five pegs, Mr. Agnes. If you please, if I want to get, you know, if I want to be safe, mate. And I know you want me to be safe, Mr. Agnes. I know you do. Mixing up all my pegs, Mr. Agnes. Right, you've got multiple ways you can do this. You can roll this up and then use these to fasten your door. My second gripe, Mr. Agnes, and this is all I've got for you, really, is that these are a bit cack. It's worked okay there, but I find these very fidgety at times. And if you're wearing gloves or your hands are cold, I've been struggling with them a little bit. I'd maybe elasticate that back bit and these things, although they're, they, they do feel good in your hand, they just don't slide through as well as some tents that I've used. Anyway, so you, could, you can open that like that or you can just shove that up in there if you want a quick, a quick one. You can roll it back to the side. Should we have a look? Come on, let's do it all. We're, we're here for it, aren't we? We're here, man. We might as well. We might, we might as well have a look at all options. Eh? Look, now listen to what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, man. Just fidgety, I don't need it. I don't need it in my life. Also here, if you're out and you're doing a bit, you wanna be really fastening these, fasten the actual thing to you, to your poles. There's one on each corner of them. You can roll it, instead of opening both sides, you can just roll one side up. It has a little thing here. It's just options, isn't it? Good to have options. For now, we'll open that. And also you can open the other side fully as well, if you want. There you go, look. Perfect if you want to have to just check out the views and you've got some nice weather. Quite a big door. With this door, you can either roll it up and attach it and there's a little loop on the other side of the door. You just pull it through that. And I think that's a great feature. It's little things like that that I really love. Because it is a bike packing tent, you get this. <laughs> This little thing here, and that is to store your bike helmet. <laughs> and if you're a psych, like, that would take up a lot of room. It'd take up a lot of room in your porch. I think that's a lovely little bit of attention to detail so that you can just stick your bike helmet up there, out of the way. Amazing that I even brought a bike helmet in it. We're taking this serious. Right, I'll show you one more thing while we're outside. The same applies on the other side. It's just mirrored. It is symmetrical. So you do have two zips on here as well. Once you're done out there, and I've used this, you can pull this zip down and there's a flap on the outside. So no rain's gonna get in, but it gives you a little bit of added ventilation. All right, I'm gonna need a peg here, Mr. A. Two, in fact. I use one of these extra guy lines. Tie a knot in it, should have done this before, but didn't, so that's that. So I'll just do a little clove hitch touch this like in it come on naughty mcfuckington and there you go that's what we're dealing with so that's gonna keep the sun off you keep the rain off you and just extend your little vestibule area so you can cook out here and and uh, take in the scenery when it's not so clement great feature and a good option to have on both sides as well i'm going inside It is super spacious, man. Here's that thing, look. Through the loop. So there's plenty of storage in here. 
and you've got this little thing to stop it all falling out and from this from bending over too far you can fit absolutely loads of stuff in there you've got a little loop for your lantern or whatever lots of tie out points so you can put washing lines and extra cord for hanging things on the head end it has two pockets one there and one there so you can put your phone in there and it has a little bit here so that you can pull out your your earphones straight into your bulb perfect you've got another sizable roof pocket there at the other side this is the head end you've got pockets at either side so there's plenty of storage you've got the phone thing at that side as well look at the space acres of it man is this a true three-person tent no for me it's not at a push and you've got to be very comfortable with each other with each other you could get three people in here it's a two-person tent two person and maybe a dog or two person with a lot of room we've had two people in here using the big agnes camp beds which the width of them is this and two of them put together there wasn't that much room there's no way you're getting three of them in here you could get three sleeping bags in here with three people but we want sleep pads in here oh, it's so spacious mate it's so spacious and it feels good it feels um like it was made by elves i really appreciate how tight everything is and how well made it is there's no threads hanging off there's nothing oh i forgot to mention there's also these so your ball joints uh, with your crossbar they go into these little pockets here on either side just to keep that sturdy that's definitely worth doing i've had this tent out myself and put some miles in with it and i didn't even notice uh, you wouldn't obviously be doing well you could do multi-day hikes in it there's no reason why you couldn't it doesn't take up a lot of space in your bag and for the space you get with the tent the difference in weight between the two person and this is just so it's not a lot really when you consider how much space you're getting this is the bike packing version so you do get a few little extras like the the webbing on the outside of the tent the place where you can put your your helmet there's some more storage space different color on it and the main thing is that the poles collapse down to shorter poles so that you can fit it across your handlebar or attach it to your bike for bike packing so if your bike's carrying the weight of that it's a no-brainer dude it feels right i was trying to exp i was tr <laughs> i was trying to explain this the other day to someone and it's like they were like oh how are you getting on with new tent i was like it feels like it's been made by elves and i don't mean like father christmas's elves I mean like Lord of the Ring elves. It feels ethereal. It feels like amazing materials. Everything's tight. Everything's light. It's not like the Mahiliberg um, Alak 2 was made by barbarians <laughs> or the dwarves or something like that. Robust, strong, you know, not going to let you down. This was made by elves. It's very... <laughs> Am I even making sense? You know like on Lord of the Rings when you get like... Just people just unsubscribing left, right, and centre here because I'm off on one. But like on Lord of Rings, when they go and they get stuff that's made by the elves, it's always like high end stuff in it. It's always light and it's always quite ethereal and 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 beautiful and but sturdy. It feels like that. It feels like it was made by Legolas's granddad. They have said it. The only cons that I would give it is its price point. It is a a quite a pricey number. And the lack of pegs, I would say, needs to be addressed because just give us them. I think it's five for the for the guy lines and the extra bits. Just come on, Big Agnes, shoot us another five pegs. Even if you've got to put price up just a little bit, we don't want to have to be thinking we've got a full tent there. Get up into hills and then find out that we can't even put the guys out or even do them little bits at the side. So I would... Uh, if anyone from Big Agnes is watching, maybe sort that out. But the plus sides far outweigh those negative sides. It's super lightweight. It's spacious. It, the main thing for me is that it feels good. And now this is the second one I've had of these. I've had also the, uh, the two-person tent. So I know these tents inside out and they just feel quality. And they do. They just feel like they've been made by elves. So stick that on your promotional flyer it sets up and it puts down really well as well that's that, that that's got to be said 
plenty of room in the bag you're not trying to stuff it in it just go it, everything just works very well and anyone who has a big agnes will know now this is an american company so if you're going to get it from america you might be having to pay a little bit more but there are companies in the uk that have this tent i got mine from i'll leave a link below for it and that's it man i recommend it so far so good i'm looking forward to more adventures and making more memories in the big agnes copper spur hvul3 bike packing tent Whew, it's a mouthful mate thanks very much for watching Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. <laughs> it's gone for double under, aren't they? Bye for now. Oh, imagine that should fall back, fade to black. Should we try it? <laughs> there we go. Goodbye. Don't work. Ah. See us later, lads.